This is the Arctic Yotan. It does not need any introduction, so let's get into it. Uh, when you select it, it'll begin to show a n-dimensional queue, uh, where n is uh, by default 9, but it can be changed by using the um, mod settings. Uh, I'll start by showing off a 6-dimensional Arctic Yotan because it'll be easier for people who already know Ultra Stores or other dimensions, and then I can begin to show a 9-dimensional Arctic Yotan and begin to explain that one. So, I have this little screen up here from Twitch Plays uh, that'll, uh, that's here, so people can more easily find out what happens. So, if you're having trouble looking in this um, uh, view from here, you can look at this up here and it'll probably be easier. Uh, I have color assist on, that means that the spheres do not uh, change color uh, by position. That means that this would always be white, this is dot up here. So um, that's also going to make it a bit easier, but that would normally be turned off. And you can change all of this in the mod settings. So, six dimensions. Um, the way that the dimensions are, um, exp or axes are explained is that um, we have these values. So, um, here's how you explain it. So, if your seer is only Sulu, so let me put this up this example. If everything else is negative but Sulu, so Sulu is the only positive thing, that means that you go and look at right here the Sulu thing, and then if this is um, applies, we add this. Um, what I mean by this is that. Um, let, let's have this value here. So, uh, right now we have a negative x-ray, so this does not apply. This does not apply. Sulu is here, so we apply this. Whiskey, Victor, and Uniform are not here. This means we take whatever numbers apply down here and add them together. And then we move um, that far in the x-ray in Sulu. So right now, um, after doing this, our final value should be zero x-ray, that means we have not moved anywhere in plus x-ray, so we're completely negative x-ray. Uh, we're zero Yankee, we have no Yankee, that means we're also behind. But we have one Sulu, that means we move one up in the Sulu axis. That would be this dot up here, because there's no x-ray, no Yankee, but only plus Sulu. If I were uh, to add a whiskey to this, I take, like so, let me actually zoom it in so it's easy for you to see, the values would change a bit, because now I have Sulu, that adds one here, but I also have Whiskey, this adds 0.5 to here, 0.2 to here, and 0.8 to here. That means um, we go one and a half up here on Sulu. So we are about here. Let me actually show it up here. One and a half is around here. We go a little bit up in the Yankee, so it's a little bit up on the module. And then we go around 0.8 towards X-ray. That'd be around here. So that'd be this dot right here, this blue one. So by using this, we can identify where we are in the grid by just additively um, determining this. Um, I probably won't be using this, but I'll make one more example of this. Let's say I have plus uniform, plus x-ray, and negative Sulu. We take a look at this. X-ray, we add one x-ray, but two to the others. Whiskey, we add 0 0.8, 0 0.2, and 0.5, and then uniform, we, um, we choose that from three, we add 0.8 that becomes just one, and then we add 0.2 that 0.7. So by these coordinates, we should have 2.3 act ray. So that's up here, up here, and a little bit up here. We are one Yankee, so that means we're on the very top layer. I mean, uh, that's wrong actually. We move 2.3 um, x ray, not too long. 
one, two, it's about three. Yeah, around here will be Yankee, and then around 0 0.7 Sulu. In total, this should give us around this dot right here. Let's double check. So yes. And we can also do this by just looking at it. We are right here. We move plus x-ray to this dot. Then we move plus whiskey to this dot. And then we move plus uniform to there. And then we do nothing there. So you can either use this additive system or you can just uh, move from here and then from every plus you think you are until you reach the dot. Now, reading rotations. Uh, the way you read rotations is that you take any axis and take the plus variant, so plus x-ray, plus Yankee, plus whiskey, and so on, and then you follow that line uh, using Tim Wee's um, line method, and then you see where it ends up and what axis and plus or negative. Let's take uh, the example of plus x-ray uh, once the sequence restarts. So we're gonna be looking at these two dots down here and see where they go. So that'd be this brown going to this uh, muddy thing. Plus x-ray goes to negative x-ray. So uh, that means that if it um, if it was negative x-ray, it would go to plus x-ray, then plus x-ray to negative x-ray. This is known in the manual as a reflection, because it just keeps reflecting x-ray from plus to minus. So, we just write a uh, minus x-ray here. And I'll explain what this is um, later after we've actually done it. So, let's look at plus Yankee. That's this cyan dot to this asher dot or now black to this uh, mossy green. And we see it goes up here and points to negative Sulu. So plus Yankee goes to negative Sulu. And now we take a look at where plus Sulu goes to. Plus Sulu goes to plus Yankee. So we write down at Sulu plus Yankee. And then we make a list. We take uh, one axis, which is Yankee, and then we take where it went to. So Yankee went to negative Sulu. And then we take whatever Yankee went into, and then uh, check where that went into. So, we, we, we do this. We take Yankee, went into uh, Sulu. Sulu went into Yankee, and then we reached Yankee again, the first axis. So this would be a, a what's known as the man was a sub rotation. That's what I'm going to explain later. Um, there are some times where an axis doesn't change. If that happens, we just um, ignore them. So now we read from bottom to top, uh, plus Yankee, a negative Sulu, and this is our next sub rotation. I'll try to explain a little bit better when I do the nine dimensional one. So, now we're going to take a look at plus whiskey, that's the screech of this magenta. And we see that it's now negative whiskey. That's the same as the x-ray, it just reflects from plus whiskey to negative whiskey repeatedly. Let's look at plus victor, once the sequence restarts. Plus victor is from um, this bottom dot here to this top dot up here. That's almost exactly Sulu. Let's see what it goes into. That also looks to go into negative victor. So this is another reflection. And let's look at the last one, which is uniform. Uniform is this one down here. Pointing upwards. So from this uh, moss screen to the screen. And that just goes into negative uniform. So here we have a lot of reflections. Pretty lucky, but that's the first rotation. These would also be considered ref uh, reflections, so. All right, um, we're gonna do some calculations once I've uh, determined all of the rotations. So right now we just move on to the next one. Alright, the next rotation. 
we're going to continue building on what we did and look at plus x-ray and check where that goes. This is the first rotation, so that'd be this one to this darker beige. That goes into plus Sulu. Plus x-ray goes into plus Sulu. So now we're going to check where plus Sulu goes into. Plus Sulu is this uh, purple to this red. And that turns into negative x-ray. So we make the list again. We take a look at x-ray, went to plus Sulu. And Sulu went to negative x-ray. Reading from bottom to top, that's negative x-ray plus Sulu. And then we move on. Let's take a look at Yankee. Once the sequence restarts. Alright, so Yankee is this the thing to this darker blue dot. And all that happened is that they switched positions, which means that this one reflects. Let's take a look at Whiskey. Whiskey is... What's this? Whiskey is a stark red dot, so this purple, but let's see what comes down here. That'd be this sort of cyan to this sort of um, muddy green. Now, the only thing that happened here is, is nothing. Nothing happened. There's still uh, plus whiskey. If you take a look at this white to this uh, kind of blue thing, after they've uh, done the transformation, there's still plus whiskey. Now, since plus whiskey goes into plus whiskey, um, we just ignore it because it doesn't change at all. The axis remains um, static, so we're just going to ignore it and uh, move on to the next axis. Plus Victor, that be um, this uh, rose is magenta. That goes into plus uniform. Let's take a look at plus uniform, where that goes into. Plus uniform is this uh, muddy to this azure. That went into negative Victor. And we're gonna make the list. Victor went into plus uniform. Uh, uniform went into negative Victor. Reading from top to bottom. It's negative Victor uh, plus uniform. And that's this rotation. Now let's look at plus x-ray on the last one. This should be the last one. This one to this Asher color. That goes into negative Victor. Let's check this again, just to be absolutely sure. Plus x-ray. And that goes into negative victory, yes. Now I'm going to be taking a look at victory and seeing where that goes into. This third one, so this purple to this one here. That went into plus whiskey. Plus victory went into plus whiskey. Now we're going to take a look at plus whiskey. That's this yellow to this rose. That goes into negative Sulu. Now we're going to take a look at plus Sulu. Plus Sulu is this uh, blue to this uh, dried out purple. That goes into plus X-ray. And now we've completed our loop again. So we're going to make the sequence. Sulu becomes plus X-ray, X-ray becomes minus Victor, Victor becomes plus Whiskey, which becomes negative Sulu. And now we've hit our original axis of Sulu, where we started, and uh, the sub-rotation ends. So now we do from the bottom to top, negative Sulu, plus Whiskey, negative Victor, plus X-ray. Now these sub-rotations are cyclic, which means that, oh wait, this last thing had to be plus x-ray. Now, sub-rotations are cyclic, which means that this would be the same as the top thing up here, because all it's done is rotated one to the right. Because if, if I started at x-ray and then just tracked from there, that would give me this. So, but it's still the same thing. 
However, uh, if I do this, this is not the same thing as now I've reversed it. So now it's completely different and not the same thing. So you can cycle them, but you can't reverse them. Let's take a look at plus uniform. From this uh, blue to the cyan. That just inverts or reflects to a negative uniform. That is a reflection. Let's look at plus uh, a Yankee and see where that goes into. Plus Yankee would be this purple going into this dried out purple. And the switch, now it's pointing inwards. That's negative Yankee, it's ultra reflection. And now we have all of our rotations. Now I'm gonna quickly drag them all down here so we can do this at once. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Just rotation one. It's rotation 3. So now we're going to be uh, begin to calculate our values, which is A1, A2, and A3 uh, from each rotation. Uh, you can have up to 9 rotations, I think, um, just by modifying the mod settings, but you probably don't need that. So. The way we calculate it is we go into the grid down here and then we begin to find our pairs. Now the way pairs work is that you take um, the first character and the one right to it. And I'll take this as an example. All the possible pairs from this uh, sub-rotation will be negative Zulu plus Whiskey plus Whiskey negative Victor then negative victor plus x-ray and then plus x-ray negative Zulu. and uh, these would be our pairs that i'd put into the screen and get my values so now we're going to take a look at uh, the first one now if you have a reflection so a reflection is just itself so negative x-ray is the same as uh, a negative x-ray twice so we're just going to find x-ray twice in the grid, and this is our number. Um, if there's only one negative sign, um, the value you find in the table will also be negative. So right here, there's two negative signs, so our number is positive. Just write in a 1. Then we're going to take the next one, that is plus Yankee negative Sulu. So we take a look at plus Yankee negative Sulu. And the next pair is negative Zulu plus X-ray. So, let's take a look at that. Uh, the left one uh, of these two pairs will count as the row. The right one will be the column. So, plus Yankee, negative Zulu. There is one negative sign. So, this value is 6. Minus 6. Then we take Zulu uh, X-ray. Zulu X-ray, that's nine. Or oh, wait, no, my bad. This is Sulu Yankee. This would be Sulu Yankee, and this would have a value of one. There's only one negative sign, so that's minus one. Then we're gonna move on. We have whiskey, whiskey. There's only one, or there's two negative signs, so this is a plus. Then Victor Victor. There's only or there's two negative signs, so this is a plus. And we're taking a look at uniform uniform. There's two negative signs, so this is a plus. And then this is our final value. Um, the way you do this is that you take um, on lower dimensions, uh, you, you, you're probably going to encounter this, but on larger dimensions, you're probably not. Because since there's six, di or six dimensions, we're going to have six axes. 
and each of those axes can have a plus or a minus, so we can just represent that as a binary a plus or a one or zero. So that's what we're trying to get right now, that's why there can only be six binary digits. Um, that's why we have to, um, we won't, re we can't really do it here, because we won't get a high enough value, but on lower dimensions you will have to modulo uh, by a certain number. But um, let's say I'm on three dimensions, and I have negative 11. So, on three dimensions, uh, the highest thing I can get is um, uh, 1, 1, 1. And that would be 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is 7. So, in this case, we'd modulo by 8, because we can't go higher than 7. So, we don't just uh, take this modulo 8. Uh, we take the absolute value of negative 11 and then we take this mod 8 which gives us 3 or yeah 3 so but right now we don't need to modulo or on any dimension above like 5 so we had negative 11 we're just gonna take the absolute value for this and that is our alpha 1 I'll quickly do um, a double check to make sure I did everything correct, as that's great to do with this module. One plus one plus nine, then plus seven, then minus Yankee Sulu. And then minus two will be Yankee. And we get 11 again. So, this time, uh, we're gonna move on. So, negative x ray plus Sulu. Oh, it refreshed and went back to nine dimensions. So, we're gonna do x-ray Sulu, that's negative 5, because there's only one negative sign, Sulu x-ray, that is minus 9, there's only one negative sign, Yankee Yankee, there's two negative signs, so that's a plus, uh, then Victor Uniform, that's only one, so it's minus, Victor Uniform, that's also a minus. So, we get 27, Again, I'm going to do a quick redo, just make sure, Yankee that's 3, then X-Ray Sulu, that's 5, Sulu that's 9, Victory Uniform, that's 9, and then Victory Uniform, that's 7, and we get 27 again. So now we're to the last rotation. We have Sulu Whiskey, as we have down here. So, Sulu Whiskey, there's only one negative sign, so this is minus nine. Then we have Whiskey Victor, there's one negative sign, so this is minus Victor X-Ray. That's a minus, so. And then x ray Sulu. That's a minus 5. And then we have Uniform and Yankee. Yankee, that's a plus 3. Uniform, that's a plus 7. And we have 14. Start through again. Uniform is 7. Yankee is 3. Then Sulu Whiskey. Whiskey Victor. Victor X Ray. Then X Ray Sulu. Minus 14. So these are our alpha values. Now we're going to convert these to binary. 
uh, there should be six if there are. So that should be one one. One zero one one. Twenty seven that should be one zero one. Fourteen that should be one zero. And these are our three um, alpha values. Now, we need to do one last or two steps before we actually have um, what we need to do to solve it. So, first up, we need to flip some some of the um, some of the axes. Um, the way it works is that if an axis is present over a digit, you flip it. If there's two, you flip it twice, which is the same as doing nothing. So I just like to say that if there's only one axis present, we flip it. Otherwise, we don't. So I'm just going to quickly copy this. Move it on. So, for the first rotation, we have negative uniform, uh, negative victor, negative whiskey, negative Sulu, plus Yankee, and negative x-ray. So, we're gonna flip the first, third, fourth, and sixth digits. So we're gonna flip first, third, fourth, and sixth. Um, we only, um, if we flip digits, that flip digits, that's uh, zero becomes one, one becomes zero. And we do the same for rotation two. Uh, we have negative victor. Negative Yankee, negative X-ray, plus Sulu, and plus Uniform. That should tie in, because there's one that gets ignored, that's why there's one missing. And that's what I uh, meant earlier, if the axis does not move at all, we ignore it, as it has nothing to do with a transformation. So, we're gonna flip 2, 3, and 5, 2, 3 becomes 0. And five ultimately zero. Then we're gonna have the last one. Uh, that is negative Yankee, negative uniform. Uh, let's see. Negative Sulu plus whiskey, Victor plus X ray. And now we're gonna flip two and five. One and zero. And I'm going to do a quick redo, uh, just to double check. Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, Sulu, X-Ray, Yankee. So, we flip that, that should become one, zero. Flip that, we also flip that. We don't flip that, we flip that. And that's the exact same. Stage complete. Two is negative victor plus uniform minus Yankee minus X ray plus Sulu. I'm gonna flip two, three, and five. I can already see that just makes sense. And then minus Yankee minus uniform minus victor and Sulu plus whiskey plus X ray. Then we're gonna flip two and five. And that becomes that. So now we have um, these values. We need to do one last thing with them. But before we do that, we need to calculate an alpha zero. Alpha zero is just a value we create with um, the flipped um, binary digits. So if alpha one exists, that's this one, the first rotation. And the fourth digit of alpha one it's a one, let's check. One, two, three, four, that is a one, yes. Then we set the first and second digits of alpha one to one. That two digits there. If alpha two exists, it's the fourth digit of one. It's not, so therefore they are zero. Is the four here one, yes, so we make this a one. Now we need to convert our binary things into something called gray code. Now, the way I like to explain gray code is that 
Uh, I'm just gonna make a random example. So, first of all, you start by taking the fourth digit and just print that. And then every time you encounter a one, you're just gonna go from positive or from one to zero. So right now we're we're always gonna be printing one or zeros because that's the first digit. But now we encounter a one. So we flip from printing only zeros to only printing ones. However, we encounter another one, so we're gonna print zeros. That is a zero, so we're gonna print a zero again. That is a one. We're gonna flip from counting zeros to ones. We're not gonna flip. We're not gonna flip. We're not gonna flip. Uh, we're not gonna flip. But now we're gonna flip, flip, flip. Not flipping. We're gonna flip. Not flipping. And then flip. So by this becomes this in gray code. So this is the gray code thing. So we're just gonna uh, keep printing. So. I'm just gonna do it up here. Uh, one. We're gonna. This is zero. We keep printing a one. We keep printing a one. But now we hit a one, so we're gonna print zeros. We hit another one, we're gonna print ones. We hit a zero, we don't change. Here we just write the exact same thing because we're gonna continue printing zeros until we hit the one. We're gonna print zero. We're gonna flip, flip, flip. And then we're not gonna flip for the rest of the time. So these are the gray code things, and though these we're gonna put right down here. And now all we need to do is XOR this. XOR uh, is normally just if there's only one uh, one digit present, but you can also just say if there's an odd number of ones, um, it gives a one. So normally that'd be minus plus 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 minus, but I'm just gonna break them pieces, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, or one, 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 zero, one, zero. Then I'm gonna take you and convert this into binary. One, zero, one, one, zero, one. And we're gonna do this. That's gonna give us zero, one, 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 one. Zero. And then uh, ones becomes pluses, zeros become minuses. And that's going to give us our final position. So now uh, I'm going to tap the module to enter submission mode. And then once it stops its current rotation, it's going to highlight a starting dot. So, um, let me just show you where the submitting dot is. So we are right here at the bottommost dot. We're not gonna go plus x-ray because x-ray is a minus. We are gonna go plus Yankee to up here. We are gonna go plus Sulu to up here. We are gonna go plus whiskey to up here, this dot right here. Then plus Victor to this dot up here, and then to this one. Uh, if you want that in this grid, that would be the top one over here. Because we go no x-ray, we go Sulu, then we go whiskey, Victor, Uniform, and then uh, Yankee. So we're gonna end up at this top dot up here. Now, the way we're gonna move our glowing dot here to up there is by submitting from 0 to 5, because that's the dimension count minus 1. Um, and then that's gonna change some axes. However, we don't know what second changes what axes. So we need to figure this out, and here's the way that I do it. Now, this works for all um, multiple of three dimensions. So first of all, let's start by writing down zero, one, two, three, four, five. That's all of the seconds. So let's start by finding out uh, finding out where we currently are. Well, I can see that if we go just plus Victor, we're gonna be there. Because we started this very bottom dot here that's negative everything, and then we go up plus Victor and we find our dot. So that means that we're currently located at this. So now we take this and we're gonna submit one, zero, one, two. 
when the last city is zero, then a one, then a two. Now three axes are gonna change, and then we're gonna know which ones they were. So first of all, I can see that Yankee is positive now. So I know that Yankee changed. Um, let's see. I th yeah. So what happened is we were up here on Victor. We went plus X-ray to over here, then plus uniform to over here, then plus Yankee. So we went plus whiskey plus uniform. We can also see it up here. Plus whiskey plus uniform. Or wait. Let's check this. Go X-ray. X-ray uniform. That might not be it. No, I don't think so. Um, let's do this from scratch. So, we are plus Yankee. We can just see that. That means that zero, one, or two changes Yankee. We don't know which one yet. Uh, I can see that there is um, no dot to the right of it. That is a um, that is a horizontal. So that means that we can only be plus X-ray. That means X-ray also changed. And now we're gonna look at everything. So we go plus X-ray. From here we can go uniform and then Victor. That would be the same if we went from here, then went plus X-ray and then uniform. So I would say our position is probably this. Let's check again. X-ray, uniform, victor. And then Yankee, of course. And that seems to lead us to our position. So that means the last axis that changed is uniform. Uh, we can also double check this by saying, um, could we possibly be negative uniform? Well, we couldn't because there's no dot right here where uniform would be, so we have to be positive uniform. Uh, this dot up here would be whiskey, be uh, because you might think, oh, this is whiskey, so it must be plus. But no, this would be the plus whiskey of this, so these can't be attached. Uh, and there's no whiskey that's around here, so it must be the negative version, or up here. Yep. So... We can also say that there's no victor that could be above it right here, but there is one below it. So therefore it's plus victor. And Yankee we just see because it's the one that's closest to us. Now, because of this, we know the three axes that didn't change. That was Sulu, Whiskey, and Victor. These were the ones that did not change. So now we know what um, each second it did, but not specifically. So now we need to clarify. Uh, I'm gonna take this, then submit zero, three, four, because then uh, I know which is which one is gonna be zero, and I know what five is gonna be, and then I can just with a mix of this figure out what I have to do. So, on the timer is zero. we move into now I, I, I can just see this uh, we are negative um, uniform but plus and everything else because if we went to plus uniform we'd be at this very top dot um, which would be the plus of everything so that means that we went the uh, negative uniform then plus Sula whiskey that means that Uniform changed. One and two can't be uniform because we didn't submit those and yet it still changed. And then I know that Sulu Whiskey changed, but Victor did not change, which means Victor must be five. Then I can submit um, zero, two, three. Or I'm actually gonna do five, two, three because. Um, 
there's this rule about submitting. You can only use an axis once. That means you can only uh, change an axis once. However, this makes it sometimes impossible to solve, so there's a counter rule to this. Um, every time you submit an axis more than once, you get a soft strike. Uh, this soft strike does nothing other than it being an internal counter. Uh, this means that it really doesn't matter. However, once you get your sixth soft strike, the module will stop, make some noises, and it'll reset and strike you. So, um, remember to only use an axis uh, five times max, or really four. If you can see you're starting to use an axis um, a lot, you should uh, monitor it so you don't accidentally strike when submitting. So, I'm gonna submit uh, two, three, five, and see what changes. Let's see. We are at plus x ray plus whiskey, negative Yankee. So that means Yankee changed, Sulu changed, and Victor changed. Victor, I was expecting, but I saw that Yankee changed, which means Yankee changed on two, and that means x ray must react on one. And I saw that Sulu changed, that means Sulu changed on three, and whiskey changed on four. Now I'm gonna quickly really double check this. I'm gonna separate these so no plus can do its work. So I'm gonna highlight zero. So we see that this was the original position. I submitted zero and uniform changed. I submitted zero again, uniform changed again, and it hasn't changed since. X ray, it only changed when I submit one. Yankee, it's changed at here when I submit two and then two again. Sulu changed twice here when I submitted uh, three two times. Whiskey only changed here when I submitted four. And Victor only changed when I submitted five. So I know that these axes are correct, and now all I have to do is find my way over to my solution. So, first off, uh, I'm gonna do one. Two, three. Uh, the best way you can th um, make a strategy for this is um, if you can't reach the goal, try going against your goal so you can reach your goal in the next three tries. So here I switched. Um, I'm gonna switch one, two, and three. But I'm gonna switch one, two, and three, and that's gonna lead us to a solving position. So I see if I change Yankee here. Yankee is 2, so I'm going to change Yankee. Then I'm also going to change Uniform, because of here. And I'm also going to change Victor. Uh, no, I'm not going to be changing Victor. I'm going to be doing it later. I'm changing Uniform, Sulu, and X-Ray. X-Ray being 1. Now, because the timer's ticking up, I have to do 0, 1, 2. So I'm just going to do 0, 1. I just missed that while I'm doing that this so I have to change Yankee here that's gonna be two and Victor uniform Victor being five so let's, let's take a look at this uh, zero uniform it goes from here then zero changes it then zero changes again a uh, one one is x-ray, it gets changed here, and it's like that. Two is Yankee, it gets, um... Huh. Uh... I seem to have made a mistake, let's see. So, x-ray changes, that's correct. Then from here I need to change uniform and Sulu. Sulu's three, so it's actually zero, one, three. So that means should, ch uh, should change from here to there, then from here to there, and that's correct. Zero is uniform, that changes yes. Two is Yankee, it changes here. 
the last one being five, which is victory, which changes here. That seems to be correct, so I'm gonna set zero, one, three. Let's look at the precision. If I am correct, it should be at negative x-ray, negative Yankee. It is already negative Yankee. If I go plus Zulu, plus Victor, plus Uniform, I should find it. Plus Zulu, plus Whiskey, plus Uniform. And that seems to be correct. I can also do uh, Whiskey or Uniform, Zulu, Whiskey, and that's correct, yes. So this is the correct, so now I submit zero, two, five. If I ever, um, uh, press on a wrong time, I can just uh, submit more than three times, and it'll just um, reset the thing. But if you submit every single digit, it solves, so you shouldn't uh, submit everything. Uh, if I go x-ray and plus uniform, it should be at the very top. X-ray plus uniform, that seems to be correct. So now I'm gonna submit every single axis, and it should solve. And we see it solves while well, does this little dancing animation. So this was the six dimensional um, Arctic Yotan. Um, I'll see you at the ninth one. All right, you're back. So this is the nine dimensional Arctic Yotan. You can see there's a lot more dots. Um. Everything is completely the same, besides it has three more dimensions, three more axes, and generally just three times more dots, so, not three times, yeah. So, we are going to be taking a look at this. Um, I'm also going to be using this, uh, this thing here down more, because it's easier, because um, this one has ISO view, this one has perspective view, so it makes it a lot harder. So, let's start by identifying the different axes. Uh, now there's a different, there's three different axes. The first one uh, is the Tango one. The Tango one is the difference between these two sets of dots right here. That is Tango. And see, Tango there did not change, it stayed parallel. Now, the next one is uh, Romeo. Romeo is here to here. You see here, it did not change. It's from here to here. Um, and the last one is Sierra. It goes from down here to this one up here. And see, now it reflects to down here. So, it's going to be a little more complicated, but everything is going to be about the same. So, first up, first rotation. Let's look at plus x-ray. Well, the first rotation, I'm gonna be using this one now. Plus x-ray goes to negative Zulu up here. Because all it does is now pointing downwards. Let's take a look at it again. Plus x-ray. Is now pointing downwards, minus Sulu. Let's look at plus Sulu, and see where that goes. Plus Sulu goes... into plus X-Ray. And with these pairs, uh, a trick you can do is you don't need to set up a list. Since there's only two um, things in the sub-rotation, um, this is the same thing, so it doesn't matter which one you pick because it's gonna be the same thing. You can't do this for other rotations, but you can do this for ones where there's only two. So if there's only two rotations, um, or two sub-rotations, uh, you can use this thing instead. 
So now we're gonna look at plus Yankee. Let me look at precipitation. Plus Yankee is this green one and the magenta one. And it went from here to up there, which was plus tango. Plus Yankee went to plus tango. You can see this one down here, so let me zoom in. So now we're looking at green one. Let me one start the sequence so then I can zoom in. Alright, so it's not very easy to see because it just generally isn't. I'll see if I find a good point. Yeah, so white and this magenta one. You can see the mention one is now down here, and the Yankees over there, um, a little bit farther, and that would be plus Tango. So, plus Yankee went into plus Tango. Let's look at plus Tango, where that goes into. Plus Tango's here. Alright, let's look at the first rotation. Alright, here. I think that went into some sort of Yankee. Let me check again. Plus Tango. Did not move. So maybe I just looked at the wrong dots. Let me try look again. Yankee, that's the dark one to the light one. And yes, that was just me. Um, Yankee is ignored, as it does not change. And Tango is also ignored. I'm going to zoom in so you can see Yankee and Tango are ignored, as they don't move. So, Yankee and Tango should not move. Nope, they don't. They don't move at all. So, Yankee and Tango are um, ignored. Let's look at um, Whiskey. Whiskey is this, uh, this one two over here. I think that went into negative Whiskey. I'm gonna zoom again. No, it did not change. Whiskey is also ignored. Alright, so this time I'm going to take a look at a uh, uniform. Uniform is this bottom knot to this one up here. And that's just a reflection, it goes into negative uniform. Let's look at plus Victor from up here. And Victor is also ignored. You don't see this very often. Let's look at plus Sierra. That's up to this one. Plus Sierra does not change. That's also ignored. Let's look at plus Romeo. That's from this one down here to this one up here. And that also is ignored. I'm going to click the check again to see if the um, all those axes are actually ignored. Plus X-ray does go into negative Sulu. And the reason I'm only assuming 10 is because all oh, this going to play loud music. And that does go into negative x-ray. 
or plus actually, my bad. And then uniform, should just change the uniform. And yep, everything else is ignored. That is the rotation. Let's move on to the next one. Let's look at plus x-ray. Plus x-ray from here. X-ray is ignored. Um, I saw x-ray, Yankee, and Romeo were all ignored in that once. Let's look again. Let's see, x-ray, uniform, and Romeo, they are all ignored. As long as with Victor and Sulu, they were also ignored. Let's take a look at Whiskey. So these two. Whiskey goes into negative Whiskey. So that is a reflection. Let's look at plus Sierra. That's from this to down here, or up there. That moves from here, that is negative Sierra. Uh, plus Tango. That's the first one, I think. Plus Tango is also ignored. This is one lucky rotation. I don't think Yankee changed there. Let me quickly check. This rotation one. Let's look at Yankee. No, Yankee did not change at all. But just to be sure, I'm gonna look at the black dot. It's rotation one. Black should stay behind. If it doesn't change, it does not. That is a very difficult rotation indeed. All right, now well, it's time for the last rotation. I the start of the sequence. Plus X-ray goes to plus uniform. Now I'm going to take a look at where plus uniform goes into. Plus uniform goes into this far away one, which must be plus Romeo. Plus Romeo goes into negative whiskey. Negative whiskey goes into or positive whiskey, I mean. Positive whiskey goes into. Positive x-ray. And now we've completed our loop. So we're gonna do whiskey plus x-ray, x-ray plus uniform, uniform plus Romeo, Romeo minus whiskey. Minus whiskey plus Romeo plus uniform plus x-ray is the first one. Um. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the next axis. Uh, I'm just going to be taking a look at uh, Sulu. Move up the sequence. Plus Sulu. Alright, that was start. Alright. Last one, plus Sulu. That becomes plus Sierra, because it becomes the long one. We're going to take a look at where plus Sierra goes into. Plus Sierra, that's this one. And that went into plus Yankee. As the brighter colors, where they were down here, went to the bottom. And we're pointing at the top. Let's look at this again. The blue one should be behind. And it is, so therefore it's plus Yankee. Now we're going to be taking a look at where plus Yankee is now. Or where it goes to. Plus Yankee, white, and cyan. Plus Yankee goes to plus Sulu. 
I'm not going to make the list. Yank goes to plus Sulu, Sulu goes plus Sierra, Sierra comes plus Yankee. Plus Yankee, plus Sierra, plus Sulu. Oh, let's look at it again. And we see Tango did not change at all. Tango is ignored as it's the one one that doesn't move. Let's see if Victor changes. That was the end of the sequence. Alright, let's look at where Victor goes. And that goes to negative Victor. Alright, now we have our rotations. I'm going to quickly copy them down here. So now we need to um, get the values out of, um, you know, the, the rotations. Um, we're going to do it the exact same way as we did earlier by um, taking it into the table where the left one would be the column, or I mean the row, and the other would be the column. So let's begin. Negative Zulu plus X-ray. Negative Sulu plus X-ray. There's only one negative sign, so that's negative. Then we do X-ray and Sulu. That's only one negative sign, so it's minus. And then uniform, uniform. That's plus seven. We add, take the absolute value, and that is seven. Alpha one is seven. Whiskey, whiskey, that's a one. Sierra, Sierra, that's a six. Add them together, you get seven. Lucky sevens. Uh, then we're gonna take Whiskey, Romeo. There's only one, so that's minus one. Romeo uniform. There's no negative sign, so that's a plus. Uniform x ray. There's no negative sign, so that's a plus. X-ray whiskey. There is one, so we minus. Then I'm going to do Yankee Sierra. That's a plus, because there's no negative. Sierra Sulu. There's no negative, so it's a plus. Then Sulu Yankee. That is a plus one. And then Victor Victor would be plus nine, giving us 37. I'm gonna quickly run through them again just to make sure I didn't do any calculations wrong. Sulu X ray, X ray Sulu, and then uniform uniform. That's gonna be minus nine, minus five, plus seven. That is seven indeed. Whiskey and Sierra, six and one, that's also seven. Whiskey, Romeo, that's uh, negative one. Romeo uniform, plus eight. Uniform x-ray, plus nine. Then x-ray whiskey, minus one. Then we're going to do Yankee Sierra. That's going to be plus six. Sierra Sulu. Plus six. Sulu Yankee. That's going to be plus one. Victor. Plus nine. 37 again. Now we're going to convert this to binary. 
and this is to be nine digit binary as there's nine axes. go then we're gonna do some flipping um, minus Sulu plus x-ray minus uniform that's gonna be one four seven let me at least do this we're gonna flip the first one then we're gonna flip the fourth one we're gonna flip the seventh one which is this one that is, yep, that's correct. Then we're gonna do the same for, no, not the same because there's different axes involved. Minus Sierra, minus Whiskey. We're gonna flip two and six. So zero, one, zero, one, 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 yep. Minus Whiskey, plus Romeo, plus Uniform, plus X-Ray, plus Yankee, plus Sierra and Sulu, and minus Victor. Uh, there's no Tengu because that one was ignored. Yep. Then we're gonna flip all of these. Flip the first three. Then we're gonna skip that one. I'm just gonna flip five. I'm not gonna skip six. We're gonna flip this and this. One, one yep. This one I just did, I'm still gonna redo the other ones. Just be sure. Always double check for this module. Check that one, that one. Yep. Minus whiskey, minus Sierra. Uh, yep. All right. Now I'm gonna um, convert. I'm gonna make alpha zero first. Um, is alpha five one? No. Is alpha two one or the fifth digit alpha two one? No. Is the fifth digit alpha three one? Yes. All right. Now we're gonna make gray code. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, Alt, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do one. Then flip, 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 zero, flip, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip, then flip, 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 flip. Make sure that's correct because it was shifted. We flip, one, two, three, we flip, 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 flip. We are gonna flip, 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 don't flip, don't flip, flip, flip. Yep. And these are gray codes. Pop them down here. I'm just gonna say if there's an odd, there's an even amount of ones, even amount of ones, odd amount of ones, odd amount of ones, even amount of ones, odd amount, odd amount, even, odd. And this should be our um, solving position. So, now we're gonna take this, or now we're gonna tap the module and begin submission. Um, First of all, the easiest ones to always check are Yankee Tango, as they are just, if there's a group next to it, uh, and if it's behind. It's negative Tango, negative Yankee. Try this. Let's make that noise. Yep, we will. So we're not gonna do that. All right. If I go, um, just X-Ray Sulu, I go up here. So it must be X-ray, Sulu, and everything else should be a minus. Let me just double check that. And yes, that is just if I go up Sulu, then X-ray, and then nothing else. That is my first position. And 012, where do we go? Bit of time. And it goes a little more there. I can already see that it would have changed a uh, Sierra because it went all the way up to the top. 
A Yankee and Tanko have not been touched. Let me actually move this a little bit closer down. Sierra touched. Or changed. So. If I were, let me just... If I were to go plus uniform, or actually just plus whiskey, and then plus Romeo, I'd be up there. That means that uh, whiskey and... No, let me just double check. We were up here. And then we went up this distance from here. That leaves us up here. Then Whiskey Victor. So we added Whiskey Victor to our thing. That means we go Uniform, then Romeo, then Tango Yankee. That makes sense. So now we changed Whiskey and Victor. We're gonna sit 3, 4, 5, and I just missed that. Three, four, five. Let's see where we move to. We move almost to the very tippity top. Alright, so if we move um, uniform, then x ray, then we should have the V at the very top. So we should be. Yes. So, Yankee should be a zero, Uniform should be a zero, and that would be X-Ray. So we want plus Romeo, minus X-Ray, plus Tango. That seems to be it. Yes, that means we change Tango. X-Ray. Romeo. And then the three axes that didn't change was Yankee, Uniform, Sulu. So, Yankee, Uniform, yeah, Sulu, Yankee's Uniform, and then we need to submit 036, 0, 3, 6, Let's see where that moves us to. Uh, let me quickly zoom. We moved a little bit more down. However, I can see we was, we moved uh, Tango and Yankee. So Tango and Yankee change. I can just see that. But we were up here. I think Whiskey might also have changed. Yes, Whiskey definitely also changed. Because we went down from there, and now the other ones changed. So it means that uh, whiskey changes on zero. Can't be on here. Tango changes on three, uh, and then Yankee changes on six. One, four, seven, and now we can know all the axes. One, four, and seven. And now we moved a little bit more to the left. All right. So, if we move plus uh, plus uh, this, that won't work. Plus Romeo. Um, I see. Uh, so now, if we go, if we go plus Sierra, then let me zoom again. If we go plus Sierra, then uh, Sulu uniform. We should be there. That means there's no that. That's only two changes. We need a third. We go up here, up here, then uniform. Still plus Yankee, negative Tango. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, uniform. That's right. That also changed. So Victor uniform Romeo changed. So Victor uniform and Romeo changed. And these are axes. And we need to get to here. So I can do one, two, then three. Then I can do one, two, three. Then I can do one, two, three. That should be it. Let me do this. All right. So from here, I need to change Yankee. That's six. I also need to change Whiskey Victor. That's going to be zero. And one. So let me actually just confirm the axes first. Two, two, zero, whiskey changes, then changes, then changes, yes. Victor, change, then change, change, yep. Sierra only changed once. Tango, changed once, twice, yes. Romeo, changed there, there, yep. X-ray changed once. Yankee changed twice. Seven is uniform, that also changed once. And eight is Sulu, and that did not change at all. It has always just been positive. All right. So from here, we're gonna change Victor Uniform Romeo. Or Victor Romeo Uniform. Yep. That from here we're gonna change uniform Sierra Tango. Uh, two, three, seven. Uniform Sierra Tango. So Sierra one six. That should be whiskey. That changes one. That's Victor. And then six. That's Yankee. Yes, Sierra one six. That goes all the way up the top there, but a little bit. It's a little bit off the top, so it's plus that. It's Sierra, Sulu, Whiskey, Victor, Uniform. So everything but Romeo, Tango, Yankee should be it. Uh, let me just check. Oh yeah, and also X-ray. Let's check. We go Sulu, Whiskey, Victor, Uniform, then Romeo. That sends us up there. We are at the correct place. Then I'm gonna submit 147. And then we move up there. Let's see if it's where we want it to be. Uh, we are... We are Sulu, then Whiskey, and then Sierra Romeo. So we go up to here, and then over to here, and that looks to be correct. Then we're gonna submit 237. Just missed it. All right. Let's see if this is it. Uh, let me zoom in again. We are um, Sulu Whiskey 
the uniform. And then Romeo. And then Tango Knight. Tango. This looks to be it. I'm going to do one last check. To get up to the very top, we need to go to X-Ray. Then to... Let me zoom out so this doesn't interfere. So... From here, we need to go to X-Ray, Yankee, then Victor, then Sierra, then Tango. That looks to be correct. We stop that, and now we're going to submit every single digit, and this should hopefully solve. And it solves. So, uh, this is how you solve the Arctic Yoton.